Andre Colbin, were you saying something about my daughter? Oh, uh, God. Of no, course not. Yeah, I was just messing with you, man. I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. Then make it up to me. Tell me why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. Piano lessons. It was just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job. They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't tell you. I'm still working for them. They'll gut me if I tell you. The cavalry arrives. Dude, you're not going to get They're away. They're the ones you should be worried about right now. You don't get it, Fisher. They're bigger than you. They're <coughs> bigger than me. Don't you see? They told me you were coming. Drop it, Fisher. Drop it. Drop it. You won't be hurt, Fisher. Sam, you need to go with them. The hell I do. Please, you have to trust me on this one. If you're Never trust a woman. Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. What took you so fucking long? Don't move! Hands in the That's air! It, Fisher. Don't let nice me easy! Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. Alright, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup, of course it is. Son of a Poor Fisher. I'll be happy when we drop off sneaking beauty. So will Reed. I saw his people off by his chopper ready to go. He's probably impatient. Look, Colonel Prentice, I got it here as fast as I could. Yes, you did, Oscar. Tom Reed's just not a patient man. Uh, Colonel, I don't mean to be pushy on this one, but I do need to talk to you about my pay. I was told Coburn was handling that. Well, yes, sir, but since there were these changes, you see, extra passengers with extra gear and a longer flight plan. Tell you what, Oscar, take it up with Colonel Reed. He'll take care of you. It was clear someone wanted to talk to Sam. That's why they went to all the trouble of setting them up with Coburn's. That's why they tranked them and flew them back home. They needed them docile when they offloaded them at their private airstrip up in the Blue Ridge, because if they hadn't, he would have taken that place upon with his bare hands. He's awake. Fuel is it free, man. <laughs> Colonel Prentice, Major Robertson, we don't have time to chat. Our timetable says your men need to move. Everything's operational, Director Reed. We start deployment at 900 hours this morning. Good, keep things going on your end. I'm heading back to third. By the way, that's not me be breathing. That's Fisher. Never had any doubts. Now, gentlemen, if you'll excuse us, I need a minute with Miss Crim's daughter here. The fuck you looking at? Of course, Major. Right. Fisher's all yours, Anna. You packaged him for us in Malta, you get to unwrap him here. Find out what he knows about the EMPs, how he knows it, and why he's been hunting our friend Mr. Coben. Might take a while, Tom. He's been trained to resist interrogation. I'm authorizing you to use whatever persuaders you need, chemical or otherwise. Get the answers, and dispose of them. Just don't be as messy this time. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, a little lag. Anything else? Just get to it. And call me when you have something. I'll be at HQ. Whoa. 
Listen to me. I'm working for President Caldwell as a mole inside Third Echelon. Reed's the new director, and he's working hand-in-hand -hand with our hosts here. A PMC called Black Arrow. They're running a pipeline for stolen Russian EMP tech through Malta. And Reed's stonewalling any kind of investigation into it. Reed's stonewalling the president. He's got serious political coverage from somewhere. And the president isn't getting anywhere through channels. We know they're in the final stages of prep for something very ugly. But what we don't know is what it is or where it's going down. Really? Then again, you seem more interested in field work these days. Stop it. And of course, Fisher is going to have to save the day. But you're on the outside now. You are free to act. I don't do this sort of thing anymore. Tell that to the men you killed in Malta. Now, if you don't make it look like you escaped and attacked me, I'm dead. So make it look good, Sam. Hit me. Do what you have to do. Grim, let me remind you, I'm out of the game. You're not out. All it took was one hint about her. Only one hint about Sarah and you dove right back in. Boob physics. What do you know about her? Never expe expected that in a Splinter Cell game. I know she's alive. How's that for starters? You're lying. She's dead. Lambert told me she was dead, and I take his word over yours. She's alive, Sam, and I know where she is. I've known all along. You're lying. Why should I believe you? Because my people have her. If you help me, you get to see her again. If you don't, it's out of my hands. Do not lie to me about this, or I'll kill you. You understand me? I will kill you! Sam, I've been lying to you about this for years. Get back into the kitchen, bitch. Okay. I... Okay, that'll do. Good work. Shut up. <laughs> Here. My car's just outside their security gate. It's a red T-208. I disabled the GPS locator chip so Third Echelon's birds can't find it. And take this snake cam. It's linked with this phone. The signal's encrypted. In case you get lonely. So I can set up a call with Sarah to prove to you that she's alive and unharmed. Now we need to get you out of here without them coming after you. C4 should help with that. There's some right outside. Get it and call me back. I don't get the gun. Just point it at the right people. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised that didn't work. Oh yeah, there's people here. Holy <coughs> Excuse me. We need to get some C4. Human shield. How 